Zuma, bug eye, like I said, I don't like it. I don't like this scooter. Like the look of these scooters, not to flame everybody who has one, but just not my taste. I'm not a fan of the giant bulky eyes, and I don't really like how wide the seat is. I don't care the length, but the seat's just really wide, and this thing kind of feels a little funky to me. So, um, I give it a little bit of a chance, and it's time. So this thing has a Corsa on it and a Yusuni R horizontal Minarelli engine. This is a horizontal Minarelli engine that's completely stock. So, what we're gonna do to build the Malaguti finally, and get this kind of ready too, because I've been wanting to build this, is we're gonna take the Corsa and the pipe and the new Polini carb and everything I got on this one right now, take it off, and then we're gonna take, because I had this stock horizontal bug eye motor right here that I just took the bore off, the piston, the head, everything off of it, the intake, all that stuff, and we're gonna throw it on this one, make this thing bone stock 50cc because What's that? Where that wind just come from? Where the wind just come from? We're gonna throw this on the bug eye, and I have a stock um, exhaust right here for a bug eye somewhere over here. I think I have two of them. Yeah, these are both bug eye exhaust. We're gonna make this thing bone stock. So if I go to sell this as like a 70 cc Zuma, it's gonna take longer to sell, and I'm not gonna get what I want out of it. But I make the stock 50 cc, so I can take those off, save me like 300 dollars on this build. And then this thing's titled and sell it for like, like 900 or something, bone stock 50cc, clean, besides just these little tiny rips in the seat. But other than that, this, this thing's pretty clean. So that means I can also fix the issue that I was having with this throttle cable because it goes both ways when you take off the stock carb unless you do a different aftermarket mod or whatever. So then I can run both cables again, put this thing bone stock, except now it's just gonna have a temp gauge on it. But uh, And then Juan's gonna buy it for 900 and he's gonna build it and I bet. I don't know, what do you think about this one? It's modern. Modernized? Yeah. Would you rather have this one or the, like the... Older style for sure. The what? Older style. Older style for sure, huh? Alright, right, got everything pulled off, got the pipe pulled off. Bike's looking raw right now. Then we got the Corsa uh, car pulled off on it. Alright, let's see. Looks good. The cylinder looks really good actually still. Alright, this will probably be the first time you've ever seen this on the channel, but we're literally downsizing right now. We got we're taking out the 72 cc Corsa right here. Just got it all pulled off. This thing's cherry in the cylinder. Alright, we're getting into it. We did finish the Zuma last night. I got this thing turned back to a 50cc. It'll start, but it's having a hard time starting. I think it just, just doesn't want to run with the, without the stock airbox on. So um, I'm gonna need to get a stock airbox for this thing, and uh, then this thing's gonna be pretty much for sale. But I'll start it here in a little bit, but I pretty much just gotta hand choke it, put my hand over the carb, and uh, it'll run. But stock 50, stock pipes back on it, and uh, yeah, there it is. Zuma bug eye, bye bye. When the Scooter Swap Shop boys were out here, actually it wasn't even the Scooter Swap Shop, it was the boy Steve, and somewhere along the lines, I think he like pushed down on this, he said or something, and he put his hand on here, broke this cluster completely, so this thing is just destroyed, um, which isn't the end of the world, because it was already cracked, as you can tell, in a few spots, and kind of butchered together. I tried to make it last. It's all cracked. Um, I would either need a new one of these, I could try to make it work, it's just missing, oh, see? Look how easy that pl the plastic breaks. It's so brittle. I could try to make it work, probably glue it from the inside, but I'll have this big hole right here or try to find another one. But I figured I've always wanted to run naked bars on one of my Zumas, and I don't have any bikes with naked bars. Like, I mean, obviously the only bikes I'd want to do it with are like these ones because the headlights are down here, and I don't want to do naked bars on Elite and have to worry about a weird headlight mounting situation. Um, I've done it in the past with a few of my mopeds and ran like LED pods and stuff like that, but. I'm personally not a fan of that. Um, I've already been through that. And uh, it just, nothing works better than a stock headlight. I'm, these bikes where the headlights are lower on the front fairing makes it perfect to do naked bars because all you're deleting is like your gauges, which then you can just run aftermarket gauges. The only one I don't have on this one is gonna be a fuel gauge. So um, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But for now, I was thinking maybe just running these gauges and putting them here for now, or maybe making a bracket off the bars. I don't know, we'll see. But I kinda just wanna see what this bike looks like with naked bars and see if I even wanna go that route yet. So, what I did was, you know, the one and only place, Scooter Swap Shop, I grabbed 
not these red ones, but the ones in the packaging behind it. This came off my other Derby GP1. Um, wasn't sure what I was going for with it. I don't know why I had a blue stem. But uh, anyways, the blue stem would be perfect for this. And I didn't want to get these bars because I wasn't too big of a fan of these bars. They're really small looking and they kind of look, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to give them a try. I'll be your guys' guinea pig. But these are straight handlebars. Maybe they're good, maybe they're not. I don't know. If they're white, so that's why I got them. I thought maybe white and blue. The blue clamp, white bars might make this look really clean, kind of stock looking still. So, I don't know. I figured I'd give it a shot. Yeah, all these panels on this one are pretty wrecked. So, I need to just cut that right there. That's what I should do. Clean that up. Literally, all these panels are wrecked, bro. Look at that. Big cracks everywhere. Wow. That looks like it's going to be really small, bro. But it might look good. It might look so good. Actually, they're like the stock width. Huh, they're actually pretty wide. Alright, boys. I'm excited. Let's see what this looks like. It's cold out here, boys. That's why we got them Mop Boy sweats on in the garage. This is turning into a mission. An absolute mission. All because of the tack. And the tack has ran through this hole. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. But like I said, I have to change the tank, so it's whatever, I guess. Damn. Real quick. Bro, screw taking off these stock bars, man. <laughs> Bro, I never realized how much shit is on these stock Zuma bars, and how is this still clamped on? Fuck it. 30 crack. Fuck it. Nope. Never going back. There we go. Never going back. Making bars for life. Alright, I spent like the last 30 minutes going through and separating the actual plugs I need. Right here, plugs I need versus plugs I don't need down here. And this harness was just huge and clumpy and it was all getting tangled up here and it was just gonna be a mess trying to tuck it down below the fairings and not having enough extension for these ones. So I went back, cut the harness all the way back, bent these ones back the other way. Now I can tuck them back in here, hide them behind the fairing, and then just these wires will be running up here to my uh, blinkers and my brake lights. So got that all figured out. That took way longer than I expected, but now I can at least start throwing everything together. So let's get to it, boys. All right, we're in way too deep right now. I took the gas tank off the other uh, parted out Zuma I had. Not the bug eye, but behind it, it was pre bug But that way, because the 89 came with a single gallon, I think it is, or it's actually less than a gallon. I don't know how many it is, but it's smaller. This one's like double the size. So swapping over petcock right now, because this one had a newer petcock in it too. Swapping that over, that one's leaking. Then putting the gas tank back in. Debating on if I want to run a rear fender on here right now too. If I do, I'm probably going to cut the fender because it's too much of a pain in the ass to get all that up there in the front of the fender. So I mostly just want the rear part of the fender. All right, boys, it's a new day. This is where this thing currently stands right now. So we got everything mounted on here. Naked bars, super easy. As you can tell, you literally just put the clamp on, put the bars on. But it is tedious because there's so much stuff. And more with my gauges because the tacks, a single wire, ran all the way back here. And when I put the screw together, I zip tied it along the whole harness. So I had to remove everything to get that off. But we did that, we swapped tanks too. As you can tell, this tank is almost double the size. The other tank like goes right here and it's pretty much flat at this seam. This one has like another half gallon, I'd say. So this gas tank only works on the single seat. Whereas this is like the big double seat. So look, at it stops right there. That one's huge. I currently don't have a fuel gauge now, so it was a really good idea to swap tanks to the bigger one. But we're about to throw this thing together and see what it looks like. All right, here she is. I really just don't know how I feel about the handlebars yet. I can't tell if it's just because I've never seen the scooter like this. Dude, it's like, hold on, my camera's all messed up. I don't know if it's because I've never seen the scooter like this, or if I just truly don't like the look of naked bars, or if it's this stem that just seems taller than the other ones. I don't know. I thought that you're supposed to run the tall stem, but these bars also look small. I don't know. It kind of looks weird to me. kind of looks cool. It kind of looks weird. I can't really tell. Maybe it'll grow on me. Seems like a lot of the scooter stuff usually looks weird at first and grows on me, so. I don't know. It's looking good. Now I'm working on the truck. I'm trying to get a bunch of my projects done. 
It's the first day of the new year. She has new knock sensors in her, new knock sensor harnesses, and intake gaskets. Now I just put new plugs in it. Been cleaning some stuff up around on these shelves and everything like that, cleaning out some buckets. Starting to get uh, organized for the new year because boy, do I have some stuff planned for this year. We're, we're trying to do some big stuff this year. We need to hit 100,000 subscribers this year as well. So make sure you guys like, subscribe right now before I even continue this video. And uh, we're going in, boys. So I'm gonna finish this up. For every plug is like seized onto the plug. Like I feel like these plugs have never ever been changed, but it's because it's so seized. It's rust and like years of just corrosion, bro. So you got just nasty crud in the thread. This bike is really bouncy. I I just hung it up. Otherwise, I'd show you guys. But this stock shock makes this thing bouncy, where it's actually scary to wheelie it. So I got this NCY shock which is the same one I have in this bike, and I really like it. So I'm gonna throw this in here. I don't even remember where I got this, but I've had this shock. But I'm gonna throw it in here, replacing this shock right now. There she is, and see why shock in it now. A lot better, sits a little bit higher too, um, but a lot more stiffer, so this one's so bouncy, this stock one. What's up, dude? Boys, that's gonna do it for this video. It's been a crazy last few weeks, I'm not gonna lie, it's been Non-stop as you can tell I've only been uploading like once a week lately. Um, I've been trying to put more into one video I think it's more entertaining. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below But I've been trying just to crush out a lot of work and a lot of stuff on the side um, a lot coming with the car actually and a lot more to come because I just blew my turbo today. So um, Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next BMW video to see that um, I'll probably be uploading that um, probably first thing next week. So um, Yeah, Zuma the not gonna lie the naked bars have been growing on me a lot more and uh, I rode it and I actually like the feel the stem is a little taller than I like looks wise but the way it feels when I'm sitting and the way I'm wheeling I feel like I have so much more control um, after riding it so I'm pretty stoked on that and don't really plan on changing it I actually am pretty damn satisfied with it so um, I do have um, some plans for this because this thing is cracked right here so we gotta do a little maintenance I have a new top piece that you saw that the homie Jared sent out to me and um, I have a brake lever to put in another stock one because this brake lever is from a derby and that's why this shroud was broken because it doesn't fit in the shroud. So I have another Zuma disc brake lever coming on the way and uh, just a few other things and a lot to come for this Banshee too because I've been changing this thing up a lot. All my projects are getting so dusty in the garage right now too. It's gnarly. Um, it's just dusty. So yeah, and the RC1. Dude, I got so much coming. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.